With me making a lot of videos covering the best Mac apps out there, I was able to narrow down the large list of apps I've ever tried and tested to only three best apps. And I think that these three apps are the only ones that you really need to be productive with the macOS operating system. Starting things off is a free utility called Rectangle, which is a really simple app letting you move and resize windows in macOS using keyboard shortcuts or snap layouts. In my opinion, one of the most frustrating things when it comes to using your Mac in a productive way is the inability to manage window positions efficiently. And this lightweight app fixes that problem. It has saved me a lot of hours of dragging windows around the screen and trying to align them properly. The app adds two new ways of snapping windows on your screen, either via drag or keyboard shortcuts. But I never took the time to learn the keyboard shortcuts, so I only use the dragging functionality, which I think is more than enough. Now the second app is Paste, which adds a place to your computer where it stores all the things that you have ever copied into your clipboard. I often find myself going back and forth between pages to copy and paste content, but what this app allows me to do is just hit Command plus C twice or even more times and then bring up the clipboard manager to paste more than one thing at the same time. It also has this handy feature where you can pin things on top of your clipboard like a frequently used sentence template or your most visited website. You can also search through all of your clipboard history and find things that you copied as far back as a few weeks ago. And the third app is Guest Timer, which is an extremely handy timer slash reminder app that lives in your menu bar. Although it costs costs $4 on the App Store, it's not over cluttered with features and as an added bonus it's really satisfying to use. To set a timer, instead of having to manually enter in the time, you just click on the app's icon in the menu bar and drag down, which will allow you to precisely set the time that you want. The biggest use case for me is the timer functionality, which I use to set custom time amounts as work sessions during which I do focused work. Although sometimes the reminder functionality is also useful, though I usually set reminders on my iPhone using the default reminders app. This has been the only three Mac apps you need to be productive, and if you learned something new in this video, I'm going to leave you with this one that YouTube randomly generated for you based on your interests.